Okay, let's go forth into this dungeon. I can't actually do the mining quest or Corzo will leave me for some reason. He considers this like too d much of a deviation from his own stuff. Yeah, it was perfectly fine with the elemental quest. Weird. Let's see what level this place is. Okay, elementals again, huh? Curses, I can't do anything about that. Well, sure, it would be nice if I could get past here, huh, Spider? Then we could have our epic duel. But no, this game is like... You're not worthy. Look at that. Where am I supposed to get a stone pickaxe? Maybe I can find it as... An, maybe I can find it in one of the dungeons, or do I have to get it from a, an NPC? Hmm. These bats don't seem to do anything. At least the elementals are easy to dodge. Wait, who are you? I'm here to guard this building. Don't really know why I'm guarding it, but the elders said I should keep a close watch. They seem a little nervous about it, too. You're lucky man to be down here. I saw some nice m mineable stones. Um, are you serious, Boru? You know I'm a guard, right? Not a miner. Never too late to change your profession, son. Mwahaha. Yeah. Well, because you guys are all allowed down here, I guess you can enter. I saw some candles in there, so be sure to light them as you see your surroundings. If you want to go outside, let me know. I'll esc escort you out. Hmm, I may want to stick around and grind against the elementals a bit. Just to get some more money. Hold on, let's see what kind of monsters are actually inside this building first. It might be easier to grind against... Okay, level 6 to 10. Yeah, these guys... I'm not ready for this place yet, am I? Hmm, we better be careful. I don't like the feeling I'm getting from this place at all. Yeah, let's go grind against the elementals until we're ready. Bad news. The enemies do not respawn in this room, so I guess I have no chance to go ahead if I want to get stronger. Level 6 to 10. Read. More research notes. First test results. Many once months since we began experimentation upon the dead in the hopes to raise them from their slumber. Why? When using the corpses of our enemies or the blood of those without faith, the results are not noticeable, nor can it be called impressive. It requires too much blood and bodies to raise a simple skeleton or corpse, just to create a mere puppeted animation. The crystals... The crystal that's generated from this ritual becomes dark and sometimes instantly breaks. We need to find other ways to get better results. It all begun here. His ambition to get closer to the fire and to be able to resurrect his beloved one. His beloved one? I'm talking about Geno. He is the sect leader of the Fallen and his beloved died around 700 years ago. Our tribe lives on top of this structure. I wonder if the elders knew about this. Let's start moving again and search for more information. Wait, what? You can't put a side event inside a side event. Side eventception. Oh, I do get some party experience for this, huh? Give me that wood. Yes. More gold, more rope, more supplies, more everything. More, because I am poor. Rope on the- uh, near this weird torture device. Okay, there's probably some enemies inside these crates, right? No, it's a spider enemy. Die! Where are they weak to, though? None of his spells are AoE, but I might as well use some of my newer spells just to get them leveled up. Burn! Oh, they're weak to fire. Sweet. Slice! T 
TP skills, I need to keep my me my MP regen up. Assuming the battle even lasts that long. When did Boru lose hit points? I don't remember using him in battle until this very moment. Okay. Start using some combat skills. Wow, it survived. Well, in the interest of saving MP, let's whack the enemy when we... Oh no, it died. Never mind, I thought it lived. Weird. That's, I forget. The enemy's corpses will always remain in the battlefield so that they can be revived. By... S or something. Yes. Not effective. Use normal attacks. I need my TP, to, my MP to recharge on Corza before going forward. Oh wow, crit! That's not a whole lot of gold. I feel like our experience rate increases faster than gold in a lot of RPGs. Okay, Corza is leveled up. I hope I don't run out of resources here. Do the, spider, do the spiders respawn? That's a, that's a question. Let me show you what the statue really is. What the? The statue started glowing and bleeding? Don't worry, this is the same as a switch. Hmm, how did you know this was a switch? You've been down here before. You're a zombie, aren't you? I will tell you when the time comes. Is no one freaking be blown away by the fact that this dude just cut himself, sprinkled his blood all over the statue, and the statue started glowing? What the heck is going on? I'm more, cons I'm more concerned about him not giving any answers. Corza, you're not making it easy for me to trust you. I'm not here to gain your trust. I'm here to uncover the truth, and so are you. Let's just get going again. This conversation is not getting us anywhere. How did I- did I just get ignored by both of them? I can't pray to it, though. I was, I was so sure the zombies were going to attack me for stealing from their coffin. Oh, well. Oh, there was a candle hidden here. Not noticed it before. It's probably like the other dungeon where I need to light every candle, but will that actually give me an advantage? I have no clue if these candles actually do anything too special. And that statue, can I pray to it? Actually, now that I think of it, I haven't seen any prayable statues yet. Oh no, it's another one of those mysterious chests. Let's kill any spider who dares interfere with us. I know you're guarding that wood. That wood belongs to me, spider. That's a lot of spiders. Wood belongs to me now. Wahaha. Yes. Then I can complete all those side quests back at, at the very first town. Hmm, this is just the first room. I think I cleared it all out. Assume it- wait, do the spiders respawn? Hmm. Spiders are, are the type of enemies who multiply quickly and ha probably have their own hidden nest, so I should imagine they would respawn. If only I had more fire users. Whoa, that rat- I almost thought it was gonna attack me. Okay. In we go. Oh, zombies. Great. Wait, something isn't right. Those candles are already lit. Why aren't all of them lit? We should be cautious. They might still be here. Sai, if you would, just tell us what you know. Yeah, I thought so. Everyone be cautious of our surroundings. I can see a skeleton already, but I have a light elemental sword from that quest. I'm guessing they gave me that sword specifically to kill these zombies. Or skeletons. 
Oh, floating head. What's... What? Anyways, let's just kill you. Let's see how you do against... Oh, okay, these guys are kind of hitting kind of hard. Oh shit, they screw up my formation. Fire should traditionally be good against zombies, right? Oh no, earth magic! No good. Divine Light. I knew you were weak to that. What row are you in? You're in R3. You need to move up what a single row. Move forward. Self. Can't taunt them yet. Ow, that was a bad idea. Shit. Critical's in the Damn it. I don't want to use up a freaking revive, but we don't even have a revive spell of our own yet, so we don't really have a choice. Um, things are not going well. I, I may actually lose this game, like getting stuck in the corner where... Uh, I may actually get into a situation where I can no longer grind and win. Depending on how enemies respawn here. Ugh. These guys are really powerful. I'm not sure I can win anymore. I am not getting nearly enough experience in gold for this. Damn it, I'm gonna have to use up some of my MP heals as well. Things are just not going well. There's a note here. Second test results. When doing the same test as we did before, but with animals rather than humans, the results have proven better. Not only do the results get better when testing it on animal corpses, but also on living animals. I suspect this is because animal subjects, either living or dead, are not barred by the notion that they are sacrificed for our cause. Some of the results have even proven better than doing the same test with a human corpse that is in great condition, and this is the most beneficial notion we have come to understand in our attempts. When a human subject is not willing to sacrifice himself, it has a great effect on the results. Animals. Just be on your guard. So we're gonna run into a super strong animal, huh? Story lore in that circle? Weird. Things are getting pretty strong. Even at, even though I'm above the recommended level, the enemy still managed to deal so much damage. Corza, do you know what this drawing on the floor is? 
It's hard to explain how it works, but to keep it simple, it will instantly transfer someone that is in the center of that circle to another circle using an ancient blood ritual. I don't like this Hocus Pocus stuff. It creeps me out. This is a bit disturbing, but it seems that this portal has been used recently. So we can assume someone else is here. We must be careful. The ones that are able to pass through these portals are called the Enlightened. They are the leaders of a group that call themselves the Fallen. I might already have encountered one of these Enlightened. Not long ago there was a cloaked person that went right through me and resurrected two bodies in front of me. I didn't really grasp how that could happen, but it makes more sense with what you're telling me. That person might be here. That means that our lives are in danger. We must avoid him at all costs. Stop freaking me out, man. All this talk about the Fallen and Enlightened is crazy. The Fallen Color Leader of the Prophet. His real name is Jeno. This Prophet conducted experiments here to find a way to resurrect his beloved Mona. He first focused on gaining immortality and dedicated his time to find a way to resurrect Mona. A further earthquake that happened here was not a coincidence. Only entities without a physical body can get through that portal. She has a body, and they need her to start that ritual. They must have conjured that earthquake to open a path for her. Corza, why don't any of the tribes know anything about this? But you do. Everything will become clear if we continue. We must know for sure if they succeeded in resurrecting Mona, and if they got her out of here. If so, the world as we know it could be in danger. We should find the resurrection chamber in this building. Piff, <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? Can I have a normal day for once? Let's just try to keep the world as it is, shall we? Let's look for that resurrection chamber then. So can I not use the circle at the moment? Yeah, I guess I can't. Two exit, uh, three exits. What the heck? Where should I go first? And also, what exactly are you? <laughs> Elemental skulls? No way. Shit, let me heal. Everyone is faster than me too. Earth skull. Damn it. Okay, I wonder if these guys will respawn. I hope not, but you never know of this game. It's not always clear if enemies will respawn or not. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Torture chamber. Okay, they don't respawn, so I might as well just kill each and every one of them, slowly but surely. Spiders. Okay, rope, candle, rope. There's a note here. Three out of six. Bird test. We found another rather interesting outcome after we did one of our experiments. It was when we used a living sacrifice upon another living human. Though this resulted in insanity and the running mouth, there was one case where the test subject also grew much stronger in magic and spirit. But I'll leave the findings of that test until I have something more concrete. Oh, come on. Did they really do these things here? They did so much more here. This is just one of the many horrors they created here, and I'm afraid the worst will come soon. You know, it would be way easier if you just told us what you know. Or not. I am not leveling up quickly at all. Resting quarters. Story lore. More candles. Why are some chairs unpassable? Yeah, in most of these games you would expect to be able to pass through the chairs easily. Okay, let's go look at some of this lore. Four out of six. Four test results. I've given up hope of using the unworthy and unfaithful in any attempt to revive others. So maybe that's why I started a cult, so they could find enough faithful people to sacrifice. I've decided that af after one of our first faithful volunteer to offer up his life and succeed in raising ten corpses to find... 
so sacrificing a faithful equals 10 corpses. I've come to conclude that it's better when the sacrifice is willing and believes in a glowing fire. We must convert other people that, and capture uh, the, anyone we capture to understand and accept our ways and allow them to make a choice for how they want to get sacrificed to the glowing fire. I'll do anything it takes to see her face one more time. He became obsessed about saving her. With every sacrifice, his fire became stronger. What do you mean with his fire? When someone truly believes in the cause of the glowing fire and understands the way to please it, they will be able to amass more power and use it as they please. Jeez, my life feels so much less significant when you read ab what, about what people uh, uh, were doing in here. Fifth test results. Many followers of the true path to enlightenment, by choice or capture, have witnessed what the glowing fire can do, and their tune has changed. With enough sacrifices, we may even see our lost brothers and loved ones raised from the dead in their full form and the same personality. I suspect that much more could be gained if one of the fallen was willing to sacrifice themselves for a glowing fire and its omnipotence. I've considered taking this task upon myself once my experiments are completed here, and I see a great benefit from serving the glowing fire in this way, but I'm still bound with the feelings I have for Mona. Perhaps I can find a way to have both, and should I prove myself worthy enough? People started to believe and fear this newfound power and begun following his ways. Jano called it the Path to Enlightenment. All that's left is this north door. That's where I will find the sixth lore event, and then maybe a boss. What's going on? Why am I feeling so anxious? A boss battle? I feel it too. We need to hide. Quick! Humans have become, become have become just mere tools. Don't get distracted by their deeds, brother. I understand, brother, but we too started with norm mortal coils before Prophet showed us the path to enlightenment. Geno selected us because we understand the ways of the glowing fire. Don't you dare throw us in with those human sheep that just know how, uh, how to follow out of fear. Stop your foolish squabble. We have succeeded and that's all that matters. We should return home and tell our Prophet that she is coming. There's knowledge. But he gets killed later on by Khan. My brothers, now the seal mechanisms are active and the guards have been resurrected. Any outsiders that are stupid enough to come here will perish. The world will soon see what we have accomplished. Now let us return to the Prophet. They must mean Mona. But what about... This doesn't sound good. Korza, you better not say you want to check anything else now. We have our answers. I haven't gotten all my answers yet, so yes, I do. Don't worry, I'm not a person that goes back on a promise, so we will help you do this. Reluctantly. They were talking about a seal and that's all outsiders will perish. Do you know anything about that? I... I'm not an outsider. But I'm not on their side either. I just need to find my own answers. You're totally a zombie. So I hold right, all right. Let's just tr try to find a way to get rid of these seal mechanisms he was talking about. Maybe from the way they came, there might be a clue that tells us how we can deactivate the mechanism. And more loot. Because I am poor. Okay, this guy is mandatory. Good, there's only one mage this time. Still not gonna be easy. I might have to restart if the mage kills me. Shit, he used Chain Lightning. Oh, yeah. Some of these abilities... Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, got him. There's probably going to be a magic using boss that will kick my ass, knowing this game. Seriously, nerf those, nerf the magic users. Rope. There's two pieces of lore here. One is a, one is a book there, and let's see. I'm scared. I'm sure at least one of these will result in an attack on me. There's a note here. Final research note. 
Final test. Veronica, the fourth Chancellor of Maison, has found our hideout here in the mountains, and we must flee as we are not ready to take on this army. Let me know that the brave faithful that sacrificed themselves did much more of those that were animated than they could have done on their own. So in memory of them, we will bless their spirits in the air world. The crystal their sacrifice produced were of much higher quality and should be held only by those deemed worthy by the glowing fire. Eventually, we will provide the world with a demonstration of our results. Hey, what if those Draymond guys were actually all... No, they, they couldn't be resurrected, could they? Resurrected remnants of a, a kingdom? Corza, what does this note mean with a demonstration? With what I know, I can only imagine, but it will be able to change the world as we know it. If these people are still trying to prepare for this demonstration, what could we possibly do against them? By helping me, we, we are already prolonging their demonstration, but in the end we will need to prepare an army to fight them. Suiko then. Khan will never believe this. He won't accept any other troop than what he knows. Maybe Khan is not the one that should form this army. Whoa now, dude. You can't talk about our chieftain like that. Maybe Khan and I can't see eye to eye anymore, but I still respect him and I will do as he says. He helped me out countless times in the past. Let's leave it at that. Okay, so... Did any of that make it to my other people? That's the question. Yes, it did. Mika 2 and Aquila leveled up. So that will help balance things out a bit, but not by much. Can you read this, Corza? Hmm. It seems we should take a closer look at the statues in the resting quarters and the torture chambers. There's a mecha mechanism in them that will open the testing chamber doors again. We better hurry. I don't want those guys to come back because we linger. Game saved. No, that didn't sound right. Wait, what? So there has to be a specific order I do this in? That's... What's the hint? Not this one. <sighs> Corza. Hmm? The pose of the statue. It re represents the final pose before you reach enlightenment. Any idea what we should do? It seems that the red gem on his head can be pressed. We should find the other statues of red gems and see if we can find a pattern in these poses. Oh, they all have different poses. Or something. I'm so confused. The logic of this one is weird. The gem faded away. I think we set the mechan mechan mechanism to work. Let's find the next statue of a red gem. Okay, that's another red gem. That's a green. I am confused as hell. I hope it doesn't reset if I make a mistake. Yep, it, it, it's a reset. Son of a bitch. Okay, hey, this is... This logic is weird. I'm s I guess that one will go last while this one will be next. Now I think we can go to the mid middle statue and press the red... J okay, this one now. Hold on, let's save in case it attacks us. We did it! The red gem has faded away! <sighs> okay, so same thing with the greens, right? First look for the green one with only two arms. 
Yep, definitely kill everything in the room first. Okay, next screen. Middle one, always save for last. Okay, let's try again. Middle statue now. We did it, the green gem has faded away. What did that do? I felt a small tremor, maybe something opened up. Hope that didn't cause a boss to appear. If there is, please give me ample for opportunity to prepare. Let's see. You know, this is for this room. So, where are we supposed to look anyways? Central hallway. Hmm. Oh shit, what the? Test subject four. I, I didn't even look in the error room yet. Let me reload real quick. Okay, seriously, what's in this room? Or even any statues here? Yes, there are silver statues. Maybe we should unleash those as well. There's a text written on the statue. Can you read it, Corza? Embrace your destiny, my followers. Give your ex to the glowing fire. A word is missing. These are sentences from the prophet's teachings. If I remember it right, the word we are looking for is... Prayers? No, that doesn't sound right. Blood? Embrace your destiny, my followers. Give your blood to the glowing fire. Okay, so what happens if I do all of them? That boss will still attack me either way, but maybe doing this will weaken the boss or something. Yeah, so that might be a good idea. Text. The glowing fire is the one and only true path too. Which word is missing? I've heard this text so many times. Enlightenment. I also don't have to do this in any particular order. Yeah, so let's do this before fighting the boss. You never know. We'll burn all who defy it. What? We'll consume all who defy it. Okay. Do I have- does that reset any of the others? No, they're all still bloody. Cool. I really hope I'm not making a mistake. What if this actually powers up the boss instead? I mean, that would be a huge dick move, but still. Uh, Geno will- Geno are something. Profit. Fell small tremor. Okay, so something is going on back there. That's all the statues. Let's hope the maybe it caused the boss to get 
Uh, uh, maybe cause an anvil to drop on the boss's head, and that will give me the edge I need to win. Yes, we can- wishful thinking, I know, but still. You never know! Maybe- maybe a rock fell on it. Yeah. Okay, back to the- that weird robot thing. Let's hope we're ready. What the? Test subject 4? What the heck is that? One of the monsters that this place has created. It seems to be guarding the passage. I guess we have no other choice. We have to get past it. We're going to fight such a monster. Huh, you dropped your ball, son? Then pick him up. The bigger the better, let's kill him. Unbelievable. It has a giant axe. Ow. Good thing I have her healing me now. But what are you weak to? It seems to be some kind of flying elephant monster. What even is this thing? Let's just poke it with elements and see what happens. Hmm. Support. Oh, it's weak to fire! Hmm. Spear push. Let's hope you don't have any magic. Double X swing. It's bleeding. Taunt. It's already bleeding, so let's just... What should I do? Cut. Immune. Ow. It can use bleed, too. Let's see... Health regen on Kale. Hmm... Meditate self. Fire burst. Burn and bleed. That's a pretty deadly combo. Leveled up from that, huh? Dead. But there might be one more boss out there. Great Battles Volume 1? What the heck is that? That monster was huge! I hope they don't have any more of these things locked up in here. They probably do. Let's check out the chamber it came from. You're, you really have no sense of danger, do you, Corza? You just don't know what real danger looks like. I could have guessed you would give such an answer. Let's just go, man. The 
heck was that book? Learn Stance Daredevil? What the heck does that mean? Who can use it? While reading the book, you came up with a new stance. I can't use it on anyone except Ragno. So, what's so good about this skill anyways? Gain- raise 12 TP every time user ends a turn of low hit points. That's kind of risky, isn't it? Oh, I see. A bunch of doors opened up. That's ominous. Okay, but they only open up on the bottom floor, right? Nothing on the top? Man, this dungeon is really long. We're gonna have to split this video up into a lot of chunks. Two rooms. Probably leading to the same place, huh? No, three rooms? What? Okay, let's just try out one and hope it doesn't lead to where I need to go. Oh no, there's more enemies. Damn. Testing chamber 4C. There's A, B, and C, huh? What am I supposed to do with each one? No, that one I don't want to go into yet. Okay, let's just reload so that it'll auto-save when I'm actually ready for it. Okay. This pentagram is linked to another one in this room. They killed so many animals to figure out how they could transport themselves through these portals. Was something wrong with their legs? Isn't that far- isn't that far to the other side of this chamber? Never mind. Let's leave it at that. We can't seem to use it, though. Hmm. Earned quite a bit of money. We may want to leave and stock up on supplies. Fallen are really crossing the boundaries of what's normal. I wonder how much power the glowing fire will grant us, but seeing what it can do for uh, so far is shocking. Okay, what about this room? That's a lot. It's a lot of enemies. Kill them all, and ho hope we get leveled up enough to take on the boss. Okay, there's one skeleton trap behind there, but so how do I get to them? This is a teleporter? Will that help? I see an animal and human skeletons. I guess they created that monster here. The sacrifices needed to create such an abomination must be immense. Damn, so many for just one monster. The Fallen are only keen on getting their results. How many sacrifices they need to achieve their goals doesn't matter to them. And that, m and that one behind the bars, how do we fight them? Is there a puzzle that opened up the bars? Or are we- or are they just gonna be stuck there forever? Okay, well that- I think I have no choice but to just go on to the boss, huh? Yeah. This one does have a trail of blood, so I guess that's gonna be the t the, the one where bad shit happens. Substitute. Who do I want to fight the boss, though? Well, 
Okay, auto saved and let's go in. Wait, there's still random encounters in here. The heck? What is going on? I was hoping we could just skip, go straight to the boss already, but no, this game is like just throwing an army of random encounters at us. Crap. Well, I guess I'll just go clear out as many of the randoms as I can. These ghosts! Well, what about these ghosts? Also, Mika too. Not gonna level up soon. I don't really care about Akila anymore. Akila is just, like, not very useful at this point in the game. Ragnar, if you have a moment, I want to tell you the truth about why I came to this place. Wait, this is a story part? I, I thought the story part would be the one guarded by that skeleton. So it's finally time for the truth. Let's hear it then. I... I'm a follower of the Fallen. They use us followers as their sacrifices to please the glowing fire. My sister was approached by the Prophet and asked to go to this place to open up a path so they could get Mona out of here. It seemed they succeeded in reanimating her. I followed my sister across the desert to... Is someone there? Please, you need to leave right now. That voice, it must be her. Taylor! What are you doing here, brother? You have to run. The mutation ritual is already consuming me. No. No, damn it all. Just wait for me, Taylor. I will try to stop the mutation. Corza, you know that's too late for me. Damn it, why is... That makes no sense. Why? If that part was not guarded by the story, why did you even put a guard there? Seriously. Such weird design decisions. You know, it's too late for me. You need to leave before, before I can't control myself anymore. I don't want to hurt you. I won't accept that. Just wait. Give me some time. Corza, what do we need to do? We need to find the statue that has opened up the portal for these ghosts to come through and close it. They're combining with my sister's body. In other words, the statue on the left side. Alright, got it. Let's hurry. Seriously, these, these events just triggering without my permission. Curse you. Also, bread. I was saving a separate slot in case that screwed me over somehow. Please don't have any more- uh, too many more encounters. Okay, seeing a few level ups. Get, get ready, warm up. There are still a ton of encounters. Oh, no, it's just one. Let's, let's hope they don't have too many mages then. Mages are always bad news. Okay, let's move on. The statue. Damn it, the ghosts are blocking some of the resources. We must hurry to Taylor. Oh, now we can get the resources. Cool. I'm sure Taylor has already mutated. Probably. We're probably gonna have to kill her. Let me grab that rope. Okay, let's go fight, finish off Taylor then. Brother, you're a fool. You opened the door, but you know this must be a trap. I don't care, Taylor. They shouldn't have asked you to do this. What they, what do they think they are? Who do they think they are using us like this? Corza, stop, please. I came here as the prophet asked of me. I have no regrets. I will give everything to the glowing fire for absolution. No, Taylor, they used you. They don't see us as equals. Everything they do is for their own gain. They fooled us into believing them. This whole building is the proof of that. Can't you see? Corza, I feel it. I can't resist it for much longer. Please, you only have a few moments left. Run, brother. I don't want to hurt you. What the? Her eyes. She's gone boss mode. Damn it. This is all my fault. I'm sorry, Taylor. I failed you. Corza, we need to stop her before she will lose control. The Denari might not be ready for something like this. I understand if you are not able to help, but we have to prepare to fight her. Haha, <laughs> you fools, you will not be able to stop me. The glowing fire will consume everything. 
Taylor, if you're still in there, try and fight it. Please, sister. Brother, I'm sorry. I can't hold it back any longer. Corza, get ready. You must feel that her energy is spiking. Taylor, I'm sorry. Kill, kill, kill. Taylor, if you're still in there, I will destroy the Fallen and get revenge for what they did to you. Oh, come on. She has... B buff snow. Ow. Damn. I'm already in a tight spot, aren't I? Let's use getting ready. Okay, buff Ragno. Double axe swing. Spear push. Man, I am nervous. What element is she even? Weak to fire. She's bleeding now. Fake attack, no chance of it working, huh? Probably. Oh, it worked. I think it can work again. Put her in the support row. Oh yeah, we're... That'll work. Kale buff. Warm up. Adds hit max hit points and agility. Cut. Oh wow, she's bleeding like crazy. That sounds wrong somehow. Hmm. Meditation. Fire burst again. Mika too. Heal Kale. Oh, that was a good heal. Okay, let's go. Double attack or should I save up? I'm not gonna get there in time. Let's use double attack. Now chuck an axe at her face. Wow, the bleed damage is... <laughs> Defense. Okay, she's at her on her last legs. Let's finish. Let's finish her off. Impale. Yes, I finished her off with her own brother. That's pretty fucked up. Fallen treasure key? It's over. My sister. Gone. Corza, you should come with us. There is no reason for you to do this alone. 
I too have lost someone close to me. I won't ask any more questions about your past. Instead, let us focus on the future, on arming ourselves against this evil. Ragna, why? No, you are right. I will join you and together we will face this enemy and eventually destroy them, once and for all. I never thought anything like this existed. Ragno, Corza, our tribe will help you and avenge your sister. Her soul is here in this mountain. She is with our ancestors. They will protect her now. Boru, thank you. I will not let you down. I swear on my sister's fire. Let's start moving out of here. Side event completed. Game saved. Oh, hopefully. Oh, are we gonna get, get ambushed on the way out? Burning Gladius. I'll stick with the Tritona, Tritonia for now. I have a feeling it's gonna be very useful against those. Against those uh, freak. Against those undead types. Whoops. Did not mean to press that button. Ah. Okay, let's see. I guess I'll give it to you for now, since lightning... Well, maybe once we go to sea, we'll give you your lightning sword back. Arm wrist one. Yes, this will arm us better against future challenges. Hmm. Plus 15. Boru, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. So good for def for the for the tank as well. Tonic of Faith. Are there really no more enemies here? That what? I think there was that one undead that we left in that cell. Sadly, we cannot put them out of their misery. All I can do now is just take these treasures and move on. I'm just glad that boss didn't try to use any magic on me. That would that would have been I I wouldn't have enough life bottles to I wouldn't have enough revive items to survive that. Yes, magic is really OP in this game. Man, imagine it, worse yet, what if she had like two, two or three mages backing her up? That would have been messed up. I would have to somehow kill the mages before, <laughs> before she, she and the mages deal too much damage. Decade Rosaries. Element Resistance and Magic Boost, a stat boost. Yes, this will work well for Corza. Wait a minute. What about Reem? Wouldn't he be able to equip such a thing too? Yes, he would. Who would? Who needs it more? Magic crystal, which I will probably hoard forever and ever and ever. Yeah, with that we can finally take on some of the other... We can finally leave the village and go take on our quests, I guess. Okay, any more chests? Yep. Poisonous Shard. Brew of Life. Torture Chamber. Let's 
stimulus drink. Burning crystal. We should really renovate this place into like another residential area, huh? Or storage or something. Or maybe just cave the place in so that it can never be used by the cultists ever again. Fire javelin. Any other chests here? Okay. I'm guessing that each of the these puzzles opens up different doors. Enhancement crystal. Oh yes, finally, N more shoes. Not everyone gets shoes to begin with, or e some people don't even have slots for shoes. Wait a minute. Not what? What? Okay, this lowers luck but increases all the other stats, huh? Turn shoe. Brew of life, more wood. More burning crystal. Holy water. More holy water, okay. Hopefully this will partially make up for all the items I had to spend just to make it through this dungeon. Brigadine! Hmm, it's an agility-based one, isn't it? Okay, let's give this to her since she is the art item user, and then... Give the, this body armor back to him so he has be decent defense. Well, I missed this one here, didn't I? Come on! I already have this one! I'm sh In fact, this is default gear. Oh, but I can give him a Falchion. Hmm. That way he'd be able to use some of his sword-based skills too. Brew of life. Wait a minute, does that mean if we run to another fallen nest, we can use this treasure key again? I hope so. Okay, that seems to be it. That that one still scares me. Is, is that thing an undead? I don't know. Anyways, we've really done all we could here. I think I grabbed all the chests I could. Let's hope they don't blow this place up as I leave. You guys spent a lot of time in there. Did you find anything? We had to get rid of... something in there. You should keep a close eye on the door. There is still a chance something might come out of it. There is one in undead we were unable to get rid of. But they can probably take them. This place is already creeping me out. Now you're making it worse for me. Just do as the man says, boy. Yes, Boru. You want me to escort you outside? Let me know. Hopefully they give me the stone pickaxe for this, so I can start clearing out these areas, kill the spiders there, get some iron, etc. What happened? We opened a path that led further into the building and got rid of the evil presence that was there. That is good to hear. I will call the guard back. I wouldn't do that. Mon, there is a chance something even stronger will form itself inside that building. I would suggest setting in a mining team to destroy any hexagrams you can find in there and blow up the passage towards the building. 
Oh crap, did I grab every chest? I think I did. I'm very thorough about this shit. This must be serious then. Don't worry, Boru, it will be done. We will continue with clearing out those mines from debris. Now if you would excuse us. Okay. I was hoping for something better down there. A way to open up every single chest. Hmm. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of the Lost demo, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.